En quoi tu President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise des débats. And the floor is given to the deputy co-prosecutor to resume his line of questioning. Co-procureur adjoint. Thank you, Mr. President. L'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. We were talking about uh, work quotas, uh, Mr. Witness, before the break. I want to come back uh, to something you talked about this morning. We were talking about, we were talking about how um, if the uh, time, the timeline uh, to complete construction of a dam uh, was shortened from four to three months. The conditions or the lives of the workers became harder because they had to work harder in order to complete that dam. And you told us that um, commanders who were able to uh, finish uh, their projects uh, within uh, the uh, time set uh, by the work plan uh, were rewarded or promoted. Uh, what about uh, commanders, people responsible for work sites who weren't able to finish their projects uh, as planned, who weren't able to finish on time? Answer. Réponse. Concerning the plan at Combo Dam site, we had to complete it before the new year and we could do it. Et possible. And after the completion, uh, the Après they prepared uh, uh, for the Khmer New Year and they celebrated pour le nouvel an, the Khmer New Year. On a célébré le nouvel an. Well, I read this uh, statement to you uh, this morning. Um, this is your DC Cam interview, E3 9094, Khmer 00734050, Khmer 00728655, French 01123619. This is the statement in which you said, quote, we would determine a win by completing it in a certain number of months, and we had to supervise the forces to make sure it was finished as planned. It was impossible if you could not finish it, end of quote. What did you mean when you said it was impossible if you could not finish it? Ce n'était pas possible si vous ne parveniez pas à les terminer. Ah. Answer regarding what I said. Réponse. It was the plan concerning Kambao Dam Lansai, we were told to complete it uh, by the new year, before the new year. And as for the 18 meters dam at Ko Rumche, we were not able to accomplish it. That dam site uh, uh, was not completed uh, before the new year, the timeline was extended. This morning, I made a mention about the completion of a Kambao Dam website. Just to clarify something, though, the 
question. Uh, Cock Rum Check Dam, the construction on that dam started after Cambar. Is, is that right? And if so, how long after uh, uh, the start of the Cambar Dam did you begin working on the Cock Rum Check Dam? Au barrage de Cambar, avez-vous commencé les travaux au barrage de Cock Rum Check? Answer. Réponse. Kambao Dam website was completed le before the Khmer New Year. Était terminé avant le and then we started ensuite, nous avons commencé les travaux the work at Kok Rumche Dam work site. And Kok Rumche Dam work site was completed in August or September en août, the same en year. De cette année. And when we broke, you were talking about Question. work quotas. Avant la pause, donc, vous des quotas and de uh, you, I read to you a quote in which Je vous the three cubic citation. meters work quota was referred to as a hot measure. La, uh, par jour comme and mesure you chaude. said that that you testified that hot measure was necessary to ensure the dam, the Trapping Tama Dam, uh, was finished by a certain time. Who, who was it that set the timeline? Who was it that had told you when it was that they expected Trapping Tama to be completed? Answer. No one told us. Réponse. Nothing was Personne mentioned about the timeline. I, on, I was only referring to Kambao Dam work site that we Kambao. had to finish before the Khmer New Year. As for Tropiang Mo Dam work site, there, there was no timeline time for us to complete it. Is it your testimony Question. that you and Taval were told you could take as long as you needed to build the Trappian Tama Dam? There was no timeline in the work plan for the completion of Trappian Tama? Dans le plan de construction pour une date finale de travaux à Trappian Tama? Answer. Réponse. At the time, the regional level and Taval, la region et Taval, Taheng and Taval Taheng did not Taval lay down the timeline to finish or complete the Topeng Modem work site. No timeline was set so since uh, Topeng Modem work site was a large uh, work site. We could have uh, complete the dam work site uh, whenever uh, we were able to. There was no clear timeline for us to get it done. Was the Trappian Tmod Dam project not considered, or was it considered a hot battlefield? Considerait-on plutôt le barrage de Trappian Tmod comme un champ de bataille chaud? Answer. It was not considered a Réponse. hot battlefield. Non. Ce n'était pas un champ de bataille chaud. It was only a Kambao dam work site which was considered a hot battlefield. Comme un champ de bataille which, chaud. And we had to complete a, a Kambao dam work site by Et the timeline. I'd like to read to you now, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, an excerpt Question. from the July-August 1977 de, issue de, 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 de of the party de, publication de Revolutionary de, Youth. Uh, this is a document that you were provided with earlier. If you wish to look at the page, uh, it is document E3-771, Khmer ERN 00376. 
344 English 00509686 French 00594054 uh, and uh, in the document, uh, after discussing uh, very specific details about the construction of the Trappian Tama Dam between February and May 1977, uh, the, par the party uh, document states, I quote, during the time of building this trapping Tama Reservoir, our cooperative male-female youths of the northern sector of Battenbang used all of their physical and mental strength and sacrificed everything in order to serve the collective interest and to achieve the party's plan totally and successfully. Brothers worked and stayed at the work site for months, like what our male female combatants of the Revolutionary, Revolutionary Army had done when they were fighting to destroy the enemy during the war. Brothers fought to dig up and carry the earth all day and night under the burning sun for the entire dry season without any complaining. And at the conclusion of this section, a few paragraphs later, quote, in conclusion, in order to join in and totally achieve the 1977 work plan, or even to exceed it, and in order for our Campuchia motherland to progress in the wonderful great leap forward, our cooperative male-female youths in the northern part of Bottom Bong dare to sacrifice everything." End of quote. Uh, Mr. Witness, does this refresh your recollection at all? Uh, wasn't there a 1977 work plan that specified when the trapping Tama Dam was to be completed? L'échéance pour la construction, pour l'achèvement des travaux plutôt de construction du barrage de trapping Tama. Answer: I have Réponse. never heard and known about the said work plan. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de ce no. plan de travail. Work plan was uh, laid out for all of us as On ne nous a pas you said, fait part d'un plan de travail. As you quoted dites, from the document, I have never heard of it. Je, je, je n'en ai jamais entendu parler. Well, it, it seems you had heard of it when DC Cam spoke to you. Bah, vous en avoir uh, quoting from quand your vous DC avez, Cam vous interview, E3 slash 9094 at Khmer 00734066, English 00728667, French 0112-3629. You were being asked here about the Trappian Tama Dam. Question, was the plan to build the dam from the central party? Answer, yes. Mr. Witness, you told DC Cam there was a plan. You gave a lot more testimony uh, about the development of the plan. Is it not the case that there was a plan, a work plan, that was developed for construction of the Trappian Tama Dam that would have included the size of the dam, the number of workers to be assigned, details like that. Were, the, were those details not part of a work plan? Answer. Regarding the plan that I have uh, heard from you, Le plan dont vous avez parlé. I never, I never came across Je such a plan. Vu. I worked uh, with Daval, and he never said Daval about the, work, uh, the work plan from the center. Il parlé I have just de heard now. Du centre, comme je viens 
what I know is that all the tasks could not be only decided by Taval and Taheng. Without the instructions uh, from the upper echelon, the lower level could not do the work as they wanted. And regarding the work plan, I have never heard of it. I have just heard of it now. And once again, without the instruction from the superior, the subordinates uh, could not uh, dare do the work. Who, who decided, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, how long the trapping to Madame would be uh, and how big it would be, how the, the height, uh, width, uh, those types of details? Who, who made that decision? Answer regarding Réponse. the work that I was asked to do, Ta Heng issues the instruction to Taval, and then Taval relayed the instruction to me, Taval, me which relayed. I had to uh, comply with it, moi, with them, with the instructions. And I uh, do not know uh, where the instruction from. Je ne sais pas the instructions you received, were they uh, in writing or were they reçu? given orally? Answer. Réponse. I received uh, the instruction orally, not in writing. Six of us over invited to his house, and I was told about the work at the Bank Dam work site. There was no big meeting at the level of regional or sector levels about that work site. Is it your testimony, then, that you were never uh, never given a document, a written Donc, document, uh, that, that contained uh, the specifications for the dam, its length, width, height, uh, all those parameters. There was never a written document that was given to you with that information? Answer. There was none. No. No uh, written instruction uh, sent to me. He would uh, tell the instruction uh, to me directly or in a verbal manner. Il me les donnait de façon par, euh, verbalement. One of the questions that's come up uh, in this part of the trial uh, is uh, how workers or how units were monitored uh, to make sure that they had finished uh, whatever their designated quotas were. Uh, what can you tell the court about how units or how individual workers were monitored to determine whether they were meeting their quotas? Answer regarding Réponse. the monitoring of uh, the work quota completed by the Au worker, la commanders of uh, regiments uh, would be called and uh, make the reports about the daily completion of a work quota, et, et and the reports uh, would be submitted to Tawal. Progrès d'achèvement et le respect des quotas, et ensuite ce rapport était communiqué à Tabac. And do you have any knowledge of how 
uh, within the units that reported to Taval uh, how they determined um, uh, how much uh, earth had been dug up or carried uh, by their workers each day. Do you know how that was done? Answer. Réponse. I do not know how uh, the Je commanders of a regiment reported to Tawar. Every evening, uh, commanders of a regiment would uh, go to see Tawar and make Tavar the report. I rapport. do not know how they made the report. Mais je ne sais pas comment ils ont fait ces What happened uh, to workers um, who did not meet quotas uh, or, or who were considered lazy? Uh, what was done with workers like that at the Trapping site? In each group, if there were a week of workers, or those who could not complete the above quota, the workers would be sent to the hospital for rehabilitation until the person got better, and then they were returned to the work site. I'm not talking here about workers who became sick. I'm talking about workers who, for whatever reason, their supervisors decided that they were lazy people. Um, were there units, special units called case units at Trapping Tama to which workers were li like that were assigned? Dans lesquels on en, vers lesquels on envoyait les personnes paresseuses. In their respective uh, unit, in fact, uh, the so-called cash unit that you refer to was the, the gathering of those forces from the hospital. So your testimony, Mr. Witness, is that workers who were assigned to special case units were in fact uh, being sent to the hospital for treatment. Is that your testimony? It was called the case unit because those workers were sent to the hospital for a checkup whether they were actually sick or not. And that uh, was the determination by the medical staff, and I did not know what happened. What about workers who committed mistakes? or engaged in conduct that was considered to be um, wrong, uh, moral, moral, immoral conduct, for example. Uh, what happened to people like that at the Trapping Tama site? Workers who violated the regulations or the disciplines or who, were, or who committed the moral misconduct 
coupable d'un conduite morale. The person would be refashioned by their Et respective ridiculé. unit. They would be reprimanded par leur once and twice and up to a maximum of three times. And if the, fois, the worker could not be si re-educated, then de they would be arranged to marry amongst themselves. Alors, euh, on s'arrangeait pour que les personnes se marient. And for the women, or those workers who could be refreshed within the three strides, then they would be resent uh, through their respective de cooperative. And of course, no uh, physical abuse was uh, conducted toward those people. They would be refreshed uh, for a maximum of three times. Then they would be sent uh, to their respective cooperative. On les renvoyait dans leur coopérative respective. I just want to clarify something to make sure I understood correctly. Um, in English, uh, it was translated that. Uh, if the people couldn't be re-educated after three si times, they were sent to be married amongst themselves. Is that, is that what you were testifying, that these people, the, these people who could not be re-educated were, were married, or did I misunderstand? Uh, that is not the case. I did not refer to the uh, lazy uh, workers, but I refer to those who committed the moral misconduct. If they committed moral misconduct and they could not be refashioned for these three strikes, then they would be organized to marry amongst themselves. Just to make sure I understand. So in that case, you're talking in that case about, a, for example, a couple that was having an affair uh, contrary to the party rules. You're saying that those people, if they couldn't be re-educated, uh, people who were having an affairs, having affairs would be married? Is, is that what you're saying? It's because they could not be refreshed, so then they would be married. And where, where would they be sent to be married? Question, et où les envoyait-on pour être mariés? The marriage ceremony will be held at their respective uh, uh, unit at the work site. La cérémonie de mariage example, avait lieu au sein des unités respectives sur le site de travail, uh, par website, exemple, sur le site uh, de travail en Haute-Marne. La cérémonie de mariage avait lieu à Poi Taong. 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 I want to ask you about a, a statement you made in one of your OCIJ interviews uh, on the subject we've been talking about. Uh, this is document E3-9567, uh, E3-9567, this is one of your OCIJ statements at answer number 52. Uh, you said, quote, if a person were lazy at work, we would arrest him or her and send them back to the cooperative, end of quote. Uh, in what situation, my question, Mr. Witness, in what situations would ma people be suivante, arrested and sent uh, out of the work site? And who, who had the responsibility or authority to make decisions on arrests? Who 
ลองนึก There was no physical arrest when the workers could not be refreshed. They would be sent back to their respective cooperative. There was no physical arrest on site, but they would be sent back to their cooperative. There is an incident. However, that you talk about in your DC Cam interview, uh, in which there was arrests of students or intellectuals, uh, and in which uh, you made an effort to protect some of those people, uh, can you tell us uh, tell us about what took place? Uh, whether there were arrests of intellectuals or students. And tell us about when that took place and what happened. At that time, there were some intellectuals who were working at the work site and who belongs to the sector mobile unit. They initiated some plans to uh, build a university in Swazi Sopon. So they made such a demand for the uh, formation of a university. The upper echelon then uh, made a decision to call the intellectuals uh, to a meeting to discuss the formation of a university. And I did not know what Ta Val and Ta Hung knew about their situation. Ta Val then told me not to allow those the students and intellectuals to attend the meeting. And if they réunion. wanted a certificate, they should strive to working hard at the work site because that was the actual output. Because if they were to go to attend the meeting, he would not know where they would be sent to. So he told me not to allow those former students or intellectuals in my uh, group to go and attend the meeting. Later on, I saw a vehicle belongs to the northwest zone. Plus tard, j'ai vu un véhicule appartenant à la zone nord-ouest. en fait uh, vehicle with an iron uh, cage, de transport avec une cage they en came fer. to transport those students and intellectuals to attend a meeting to discuss the creation of the university. However, because I learned from the well last Mais evening, I did not uh, ask my workers who were former students Val, and intellectuals to go and attend that meeting. So the vehicle uh, came to the Le location and none of the workers from our unit actually went uh, with uh, that vehicle. However, a few other workers actually uh, went on that vehicle and I did not know where it took them to. Who, who was it that sent the vehicle uh, to pick up these intellectuals? I did not know who. We only learned that uh, the vehicle came from the zone. And of course, uh, the people on the vehicle were uh, Soldiers wearing the uniform to belonging to the zone, but I did not know them.
I want to read uh, an excerpt Question. from your DC CAM interview about this incident. Uh, this is uh, E3 9094 uh, at Khmer. Uh, 00734084 English 00728679 through 680 uh, French 01123641 uh, quote Anyone who demanded to open the schools, we were re required to report, and then they were taken away. Question, who did you report to? Answer, to the region secretary. When the region secretary saw the report, they would ask those people to attend the Congress meeting. They got trucks to take the students and intellectuals, some went, some didn't go. For some who became good friends with me, I pulled them down from the trucks. If they went, they would die for sure. So I pulled them down. End of quote. Why did you believe that these people would die for sure if they got onto the truck? My these uh, former students and intellectuals uh, made such a demand. And I did not have any confidence at all in it because they would not be allowed uh, to open a school or a university and they were assigned to work in building the dam. And I did not know who actually initiated the demand uh, to build a university. You stated in the response I just read that a report uh, was sent uh, to the region secretary, the sector secretary, uh, about uh, these intellectuals having made this demand to open the schools. Uh, who was it that sent this report to the region secretary? I did not know who it was, uh, who sent uh, such a report. Did you receive any instructions on what types of Question. conduct you were required to report uh, to your superiors, uh, such as people who were making a demand to open a school? Did you ever receive any instructions uh, from the party on what types of people you were required to report? Uh, I did not. I did not. I was not in a position to make any report. My role was to focus on the practical work on the site, whether the dam crash was straight or bent. I did not have anything to do with a report. Let me turn back. Uh, I want to ask you a few questions on the subject of food rations at the Trapiang Tama uh, worksite. Uh, were there differences uh, at the Trapiang Tama worksite on the food rations that were given to sector mobile workers uh, and the rations that were provided to workers who came from the district or cooperatives?
the ration to be uh, given to the sector mobile unit workers la ration que l'on donnait aux travailleurs was uh, de, supplied du secteur, from the sector était fourni ou venait du secteur each day they had three meals chaque jour and each worker received repas, three cans of rice per day But in fact, we did not have time to had, uh, to have three meals, so we actually had two meals per day, but the ration per day was three cans of rice. And I could not tell you about the ration for those workers from the uh, communes or the cooperatives. They had their own uh, ration. And the uh, rice supplied were from their respective commune or cooperative. But for us, the sector mobile unit force, the food supply came from the sector. So I cannot tell you about the ration for those workers from the communes or the cooperatives. You, you, you just said that uh, we didn't have time to have three meals. Why didn't you have time to have three meals? Pourquoi n'aviez-vous pas le temps de prendre ces trois repas? When I said we did not have time to have three meals, it was due to various reasons. One was the the limited uh, quali amount of water and the firewood uh, to use to cook the rice. For that reason, we decided to only have two meals per day. I want to uh, read uh, in your Uh, OCIJ, your second OCIJ interview, E3 9483, E3 9483, at answer one, uh, you made the following statement, quote, mobile, mobile units at commune, cooperative, and district levels had a weaker livelihood than at the sector level, so that they had to eat gruel while the sector level people had sufficient food to eat, i.e. three meals per day and for each meal a can of rice for every person, uh, end of quote. Uh, how is it, Mr. Wendis, how, how is it that you knew that uh, workers from the communes uh, or district levels uh, were eating gruel? I knew that they ate a gruel because uh, while they were having their meal, I walked past and I saw them having watery gruel. And sometimes they had uh, like thick gruel, but it was uh, not actual uh, cooked rice. So I only saw what they ate, and I did not know about uh, the, the ration given to each worker uh, for their section. You said that the district um, got its rice or its food rations um, from their cooperatives, and the sector had its own supplies. Where was it that the sector uh, obtained rice? Did the sector have its own cooperatives uh, where rice was farmed that were separate from the district cooperatives? I did not know uh, about the arrangement 
Uh, did not know how the sector obtained uh, rice. I only knew about the ration given to us, that is three cans of rice uh, per person per day. Isn't it correct, Mr. Witness, that the only cooperatives where rice was harvested and grown um, were the districts and that all the rice used by either the sector or the district came from those same cooperatives. Wasn't that the case? I did not know from where the sector obtained rice. As I said, I knew that each worker in the sector mobile unit received three cans of rice per day because we were considered to work harder. And as I said, I did not know whether the sector obtained the rice from cooperatives or not. You just said we were considered to work harder. Who, who, who were you referring to by that? Who was the we that were considered to work harder? I said we worked harder. I refer to the sector mobile unit force because we, the sector mobile unit, received heavy work plans throughout the sector where the district mobile unit usually only work within the limit of their district boundary. Mobile de district ne travaillait que dans le cadre du périmètre de leur district. Notre plan, nous, s'étendait à tout le secteur. When sector and district forces were working uh, together at the Trappian Tama Dam, you were working based on the same work plan. Uh, weren't you working equally hard during those periods? Pareil également, c'est-à-dire avec la même intensité. We were all carrying dirt. Réponse. But Nous transportions I tous de la terre. But I did not know how for their work distribution was organized. Whether Mais j'ignorais tout de la répartition de l'organisation du travail. Je ne savais pas I only knew that for us, the sector mobile unit, the work quota was individual, that is 3 cubic meters per day. As for the district uh, mobile unit, they could only or probably achieve the work quota per uh, their group or per their unit based on the uh, number of workers. And uh, do you do you know, uh, Mr. Witness? Do you have any? Uh, did you know who was responsible Question, um, for allocating or allocating available rice supplies uh, between the sector, the district, and the zone? Uh, who who, who made those decisions? Do you know? No, I don't. Réponse, non. I have no idea about the uh, rice uh, distribution. As I Je said, I was uh, engaged and focused uh, on the work on task on hand here at Moi, the uh, work site. Sur mon travail, sur le site de Were there periods uh, in 1977 uh, when the Trappian Tama Dam was being constructed, uh, when there were food shortages? in Phnom Srok or Prey Net Prey district uh, and food rations had to be reduced. Do you remember uh, any incidents like that? Did you 
No, I don't. Réponse, non, je ne m'en souviens pas. I did not know uh, anything about uh, the food shortage. Je ne sais rien des pénuries alimentaires. I want to read to you uh, an excerpt uh, from a, a document, uh, a surviving report, a weekly report from Sector 5, uh, dated the 21st of May 1977. Uh, this is document E3-178, E3-178. The ERN's Khmer 00275597, English 00342721, French 00623318319. Uh, in that document, the sector, Sector 5, reported as follows. Quote, as for Phnom Srok district, where the food was gone since mid-April, nowadays the zone trucks have helped transport vigorously rice. As estimated, the rice supply transported from Phnom Phuc will not guarantee the consumption up to the time when Phnom Srok can produce its own rice this September, October, if it is set based on the ration that Ankar has set. And the report continues on to discuss food shortages in Prenet Prey District and then concludes on the subject as follows, quote, about the ration in the front line in charge of carrying out storm attack on the strategic early rice. Currently, only two tins of rice are provided. Because if a ration of three tins continues taking place, it will affect the districts of deficiency. If a ration of two tins is set, the remaining one tin can be given to the deficient districts, end of quote. Uh, I have a few questions for you about this. Um, first, the report, this report from Sector 5 um, refers to a ration of three tins or cans of rice that had been previously set by Ankar uh, which needed to be reduced because of these shortages in Phnom Srok and Prenet Prey. Do you remember, uh, Mr. Witness, who, who was the Ankar? Who was it that set the ration of three tins of rice per person? On the reduction of uh, three cans of rice per meal to two cans of rice, I was not aware of that. Je pas au de cela. At uh, my work site, the ration de travail, remained the same. And if there was a reduction to, for those district or communal si mobile units, I was not aware of it. Ces unités mobiles de commune, je but as pas I said, there was no reduction at all at uh, my work site. Uh, my question was, do you know, uh, the Question. report refers to an Ankar having set a ration of three tins per rice. Do you know uh, which level it was that had set that ration? Was it set at the, at the sector level, the zone level, the center level, or, or by someone else? Uh, do you know? No, I don't. Je ne sais pas. Le bah. Président. Thank you, Merci Mr. Deputy Monsieur International Co-Procureur co Adjoint International. International. 
It is now time to return to today's proceedings, and we will resume uh, tomorrow, that is Tuesday 1st, December 2015, from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, the Chamber continues to hear the testimony of this uh, witness. It is in relation to the Trapeant Modem work site. Uh, Mr. Witness, the Chamber Monsieur is grateful of your Chambre testimony. However, it is not yet concluded. Therefore, you are invited to return to the uh, courtroom again tomorrow. And the Chamber would like to thank Mr. Momreti, the DGT Council. You may now be uh, excused from the courtroom and please uh, return. Uh, tomorrow morning to provide your assistance to the witness. Court officer, please, uh, in Monsieur collaboration uh, with uh, Wisu, make the arrangement for witness to TCW918 to return to his uh, place of uh, uh, accommodation and have him return to the courtroom at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Security personnel, you are instructed to take to accuse, accuse and call and Nunchi back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings tomorrow before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.